Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Carl from Planet 40k and today we're going to be discussing one of the new models in the Indominus box set, the Necron Overlord. Right, so the Necron Overlord, which is coming in at 5 power level and rumoured to be around 90 points, He's a HQ option in your Necron army and is going to be your go-to generic HQ, which most armies tend to have, which allow you to customise your playstyle. Games Workshop have released an example data sheet showing one of the loadouts that the Overlord can have, but they've yet to release the rest of its options. Okay, so quickly running through its stat line, you've got Movement 5, Weapon Skill 2, Ballistic Skill 2, Strength 5, Toughness 5, Wounds 5, Attacks 3, Leadership 10 and a 3-up save. So all of these stats go unchanged from this previous edition. However, his abilities have taken a few changes. Firstly, um, he's got Living Metal, which that hasn't changed. Um, it's where he regains one wound at the start of your turn. That's pretty nice. He still keeps his four-up invulnerable save. So the changes come where it, it begins with the My Will Be Done rule. So the My Will Be Done rule is in your command phase now, you can select one friendly dynasty unit within nine inches of the model until the start of the next command phase. Each time a model in the unit makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. A unit can only be selected for this ability once per phase. It's got a second ability to add to that, Relentless March, which is now an aura buff. When a dynasty unit within six inches of the model is selected to make a normal move or advance, you can add one to the distance. So previously, these two rules were one single rule, and they only worked on infantry units, and they had to be within six inches rather than nine. So now they've separated the rules into two and made one purely a buff for rolling the hits, and it works on any type of unit, not just infantry. And the other one, which is the Relentless March, actually works as an aura for anyone within six. So it's not just one unit, it's anyone within the six. The only nerf now is that it doesn't add to the charge roll, which it previously did. So this gives much more flexibility to your army now, buffing multiple units at once. So the My Will Be Done is a great rule, giving plus one to hit, and it increases your hits by 25% on average. So it's, that's pretty good whether you're giving it to combat units or shooty armies. Again, it all depends on your playstyle. Okay, in this example data sheet, the Overlord has been built with two brand new weapons. Firstly, the Tachyon Arrow, which is a once per battle only, one shot. Range is crazy, 120 inch, strength 12, minus 5 AP, D6 damage. Uh, I feel like you use this as early as possible to make the most out of it. Um, you'd probably be popping this off against your opponent's heavy vehicles or heavy weapons that have a lot of wounds. He's hitting on twos and you're most likely wounded on threes against that heavy armor. Um, and if they've not got a save, then... Sorry, if they've not got an in bun, then they're not getting a save. Uh, when you get your D6 damage, that's going to hurt as well. And I'd probably be saving my command reroll for this weapon because you don't want to be missing that wound roll. And if you do succeed, you don't want to be rolling a 1 on the damage. So command reroll goes there. So the second weapon in the example is a hyperphase glaive, which is a strength plus 2 weapon, which makes him a strength 7, minus 3 AP, D3 damage, probably slightly worse than the War Scythe in my opinion, and, but the D3 damage will help in some cases, but I just prefer the flat 2 damage with the War Scythe. Uh, he can still hold his own in combat, I'm just slightly worried about the amount of attacks he gets with only 3 as a, as a base attacks. He's not a unit I'd be going up the board charging with by any stretch. One keyword of in his data sheet that is not yet explained by GW is the new keyword Noble. No other units in the release seem to have this keyword, so if you've got any idea what this keyword could relate to, drop it in the comments below, as at this moment in time it's yet to be announced. Overall, the Overlord seems like a decent HQ to include in your army. Again, he's more of a generic type model, like a Chaos Lord or a Marine Captain, where you can customise him to any shape of how you want, so it can fit the rest of your army. Um, it can be pretty efficient in a gun line and it can also be used as a great support character following up against solid close combat units. Okay, so the Overlord has a movement of 5 which is quite slow compared to other units in the game. However, this does increase to a 6 inch as he's within 6 inches of, of his own aura ability, Relentless March, which adds 1 to his movement. So really his movement is quite average of a 6. He can be put into transports such as Ghost Arcs or Night Scythes, although I don't think you'll be seeing much 
of that happening as he's more of a stay behind support character. So overall for his movement, I'm going to give him a three out of five. Okay, so the Overlord shooting is quite difficult to judge as this data sheet only shows one of his options. So I'm going to assume that he has the same options as the previous edition with the Staff of Light. And the Staff of Light is a 12 inch range, Assault 3, Strength 5, minus 2 AP, 1 damage weapon. It's a nice little weapon that will peel off a few wounds to nearby enemy units. Then we've already spoke about the one shot only Tachyon Arrow, which is a strong weapon, but realistically it's only going to soften up a heavy target rather than destroy it. Then after that, he's just gunless for the game. Unless you can take this alongside a Staff of Light. So it, until then, we don't really know. Overall, for a shooting, I'd give him a 2 out of 5. So again, I'm going to have to assume that he has the same options as the Codex rather than what you see in the example. The only options I'd use other than the Staff of Light melee version is the Hyperphase Glaive and the War Scythe. They're roughly doing the same sort of job. One has a better AP and one has a better potential of doing D3 damage rather than the flat two. The issue here though is that he only has three attacks base, so he's not going to be a close combat monster, although the four up in run does help. And with use of dynasty rules and stratagems, it might slightly bring him up as an okay character in combat. So I'm going to score him a 2.5 out of 5. Okay, so what do I like about the Overlord? Uh, the good aura buffs to friendly units, um, now that it's been separated into two as well, that makes makes it much more efficient, a lot more flexible. Uh, the 4-up in-run save is pretty handy in combat, to, just for survivability's sake, really. Um, as always, this guy is going to have a lot of customizable options. Um, we've not seen it yet, but I'd, I'd imagine it's got a lot more than it had previously. And that one-shot range weapon, the um, Tachyon Arrow, that... Even though it might not do the greatest of damage, it's just cool to see it going off. And if it does do something, then great. Okay, so what do I dislike? Um, the fact that he's only got five wounds is a bit of a concern. He's not going to last that long. I know he's got a four-up in run, but five wounds is not many wounds for a character. Uh, three attacks is also very light. I know you could put different weapons on him, but three attacks only as, as a base attacks is not, it's not that great. He's only a sort of a stay back support character. So he's not going to be charging up into things and destroying everything as it goes through, but he is buffing units, I suppose, but it's, it's not my kind of cup of tea really. Overall, it's a good solid unit, a good solid HQ. It's cheap enough to put into any list really. I'm going to give him a planet 40 K rating of three out of five. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. We're going to be doing more of the Necron and Space Marine Primaris units in the upcoming weeks. See you soon. Mm -hmm.